the Nothing Phone 2. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So it comes in this and comes in this uh, box right here. Very uh, different from any other smartphone. Uh, let's see here. How do I? Okay. Let's open it through here. Okay. Is that supposed to go all the way? I don't know. Okay, comes in here. Nice little texture here. Okay. And you open it like so. And you open it like so. Wow. <laughs> Designed by nothing. Okay, that's probably just something to read. You got your SIM, your SIM eject and charger right here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's let's go ahead and get the actual phone here. So uh, here it says Earth First Phone Two has fifty three parts made with sustainable. Energy, its packaging is plastic free. Okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, right off the bat, it just kind of feels like a an iPhone okay you see the the glass here in the back the power button the selfie the two cameras in the back volume rockers here on the side sim tray USB-C here and let's power this thing up all right, so let's go ahead and set up this phone, put all my information in, and download all the apps. We'll see you guys in 24 hours. What is up, guys? We have the Nothing Phone 2 here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone all around. It has two cameras in the back. It is slippery, and it does have a lot of fingerprints. Uh, so if you don't like any of that, I would suggest you guys getting a case. And I like the clear back. You can see all the LEDs here. It does have a flash there. Here at the bottom, you guys can see it has USB-C, SIM tray, speaker. Going to the side here, it does have the power button, microphone at the top, and the volume rocker over here. And uh, like I said, I mean, pretty good build quality. Um, it feels light in the hand. It doesn't feel uh, heavy uh, whatsoever. So if you like light phones, I think this would be a really good choice for you. So let's go ahead and get into the actual phone. Uh, let's go ahead and go over some uh, some specs here. If you guys can see there, it is the Nothing Phone. Has the Nothing Phone OS. It is up to date. I did uh, update this to Android 14. It has a processor snapdragon gen 1 it's a little um you know on the i guess outdated side but uh it does come with 12 gigs of ram which help it tremendously as far as multitasking and doing a lot of things at the same time um it does have two cameras in the back like i discussed 250 megapixel wide angle and a main camera sensor it has a 32 megapixel camera in the front and I'll tell you this, you guys will be impressed on what this can do as far as video and photography for the price and how this is, I mean, it's not a new, new phone, but it's still fairly new. Uh, I did get the 256 uh, gigabyte version. 
has a 47 milliamp battery like i said to keep it kind of like on the on the lighter side um the other phone that i had before this you guys know i had the oneplus 12 missed that phone tremendously but it is what it is uh to make room for other phones uh has a 6.7 ltpo amoled display android 14 out of the gate and i'll give you guys the the honest truth i wasn't able to get this phone uh my phone number on this phone it doesn't support eSIM on verizon i believe uh so they wanted me to get a sim card activate it and then place it in there i didn't want to do all that my iphone is eSIM and i just like to transfer eSIMs when i when i can but unfortunately this wasn't it so it is what it is so here are the home screen you have the explorer page here right no hiccups um, and then you have the home screen right here app drawer right here it does have the icons uh, theme the nothing theme um, the only thing I don't like is that other uh, third-party apps do not go well with the theme so that is something that is kind of annoying because I don't like where it's colored here and then the rest is kind of just black and white don't like that but it is what it is uh, you can probably get a third party launcher like nova launcher get an icon pack and so let's go ahead and go into some of the settings here notifications kind of the same as you know stock android um you have some you know some settings here where uh, i'll just keep it here in the middle for sake of the camera since it's automatic but uh yeah you can uh you know do things like that uh Actually, let's go ahead and just go ahead and talk about these LEDs here. I do like whenever you're charging the uh, the phone, this little bar right here uh, lights up to the percentage of how full the battery is. So that's I think that's a really cool uh, feature. There, this one is set to uh, to be one of your priority apps if you have one, and it'll always have it on if there's a notification. Um, there's a cool thing about it as well. If you play some music. I've ha I had it where if you're playing music, um, it'll light up like this, depending on the rhythm of the music and and whatnot. But I thought that was pretty cool. And that does happen whenever you have um, you know uh, apps that have any type of sound. You know you could be doing you know TikTok, like I said, you could be doing TikTok, whatever, and it's lighting up in the back. Same thing for Instagram and whatnot. So. Like I said, let's go ahead and uh, go into the settings here. Experimental features. There's Air AirPods support here now, um, and then oh, and then this one is for third third party apps to be able to access the LEDs in the back. Um, everything else like customization is the color palettes, icons, uh, AI it has AI wallpapers now, so you can mess with all of that. The lock screen. You can do nothing widgets on the always display where you can add uh, the torch, Wi-Fi. You can add all of these. There's even photos that appear in always display. Obviously, that'll probably take a good chunk of your battery. But, I mean, if that's what you want, you can get that. You can add shortcuts on the left or the right here. Let's see what else we have here. Basically, everything else is the same. Let's see. Sorry for my daughter out there playing. <laughs> and uh, the display, uh, you can either uh, do the standard color or the alive color, basically kind of like the standard, the vivid uh, mode on the Samsung. And you can um, change it over to cooler colors or warmer colors. Uh, let's see. The display is set to dynamic. Um, I have it on high all the time and that's about it uh, the status bar you can add all of these features where you can see your internet speed your battery percentage um, NFC all of that stuff you can see all here in the status bar um, and that's basically it uh, you can set your I think you, I don't know if you pronounce it glyph glyph interface interface um, where you can uh, change the, 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 the brightness boom let's just do automatic and then all of the ringtones have uh, a specific <laughs> a 
And that is basically it on the ringtones. You can do visual feedback for Google Assistant, volume indicator, the charging meter that I showed you in the back, music visualization of what I just showed you with the, the radio. Um, let's see what else we have here. That's basically it. I mean, you can change everything here, obviously. Um, and then you have your notifications, all that, but I'm not gonna go into all that since it's basically the same with every Android phone. But that's about it you guys um you know scrolling through social media uh you know with the snapdragon gen 1 there's no hiccups like i said there's enough ram in this phone and i just love how light it is unfortunately like i said i can't you know have my phone number on here but it is what it is um the camera is pretty pretty cool we'll show you guys what this has to offer as far as uh, video and photography you guys cannot miss that video and also we will let you guys you know see the test for social media um, and I think you guys will be pretty happy with the results I was pretty uh, you know I won't say too much but you guys stay tuned for the video for the review on the social media you guys won't want to miss that turn on notification bell while you're at it subscribe to the channel I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me um let's touch on the uh, home screen for a second let's see let's do i think that's just a wallpaper yeah let's do widgets you have all kinds of nothing widgets the clocks you have compass on there the media player all of these widgets that you have on here so that's pretty cool Let's see what else we have here. Home settings. Oh, let's see. Nothing really crazy. The hide app. You can hide apps again. Not sure why you want to hide an, hide an app, but there's that. So basically, that's it, you guys. Let me know what else you got. You guys want to see from this phone. Um, that's all I got for right now. If you guys have any questions, comments anything i will have this phone for the next uh 10 days so let me know what you guys want to see thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys in the next video